Alright guys, so I finally got my Pro Monster Legends account back, but I still gotta do this video on the noob account because that's where I got this monster. This is the newest and latest maze monster. Sad to say that I already know from checking out the leaks just a little bit that he is an absolutely bad monster. Um, I mean, yeah, okay, so spoiler for that. So, Grulax. Grulax is a dark magic galactic era monster shrouded in blue and purple flame grulax is a creature who loves a good curse her favorite torching the very souls of her victims with her psychic flames what she likes even more than burning their souls though is the deliciously vacant look in their eyes as their spirit dies so i mean her lore is pretty cool she's like pretty cool for an abomination not just like i mean uh soul fire she seems more like, a or a, like an evil sorcerer book rather than an abomination so is, like in my mind the epitome of a curse so, here ah uh, okay so through space auto skip all right i i deleted it Gotta get it back for the good interview. So let's start. Torture fuel. Uh low dark damage, spammable nightmares really. Outer force, uh zero turn cooldown, 15 stamina magic weakness. Um, alright. Cursed gates deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies curse to all enemies. Alright. Just a uh, cursing move. Applies dark weakness and bleed to one enemy. Dark weakness and nightmares would have been better, but I mean, all right, you do you, I guess. Pain's Gate applies bleed and nightmares to one enemy. I do like this. He is a dot dealer, and it looks like, I didn't know this before, but it looks like he might be actually really good at that. Now, this is the weird thing. He keeps giving weaknesses that don't even apply to the dot. Like, if you give, um, dark weakness, you better be following it up with a dark dot, not bleed. That's... Alright. Through space. Deals low magic damage to one enemy, applies special weakness and bane to all enemies. Bane is a great dot to keep going because it's RNG, but it's, like, pretty heavy damage. It'll destroy any metal monsters, which are pretty popular as a counter to light monsters. And, I mean, a lot of attackers have special attacks these days, I guess. Maybe that weakness comes in handy. I'd be surprised, but still. You know, there's always that one scenario. Reality check. Applies dark weakness to all enemies. Applies nightmares. You see, this is what I mean. If you give a weakness, you better give a dot or attack with that. You better not give a weakness that doesn't even apply to you, unless you're just a weakness giver, you know? And then, Agony Dimension. Deals is a moderate AoE. Curse and Bane. I actually love that. Two very powerful magic dots. Three turn cooldown, 55 stamina. Oof, it gets pretty steep. Uh, this is spammable, actually. Dark weakness and the nightmares to all. That's pretty nice, but it has high stamina. Two turn cooldown, but 49 stamina. This is high stamina when it's, like, almost unusable. And then this is a one turn cooldown, 37 stamina. This is understandable, but these are really high. Really high. Uh, so, he's actually quite good at being a cursor. Um, you can really use this guy's dot ability. So, I'll feed you up. I'll give you some team speed. I love um, dot dealing monsters. It's why I loved Rajin as a dot monster so much back in the day. So I actually, I don't know. I would say I might use him, but I can't even now that I'm, I've got my best account back that I'm not going to use this anymore. Viper uh, uh, SN. I wonder what STM means. All right, so let's try and do this all the way. So, Clogwar is literally like this guy's best friend. No, this guy is Clogwar's best friend because he can give spe special damage weakness and dark weakness when that is literally Clogwar's entire profile, special and dark damage. So, that is just great. Uh, yeah, really, he's just the best ally for him. And Brigadier Holtzman. Well, actually, not very able to. Um, dude. Krills. Yeah. 
So this, okay, so this is a funny example to show you that there are a good bit of dark abominations. Look at this, three dark abominations. And they love using special and dark damage, so that's the uh, the special weakness is not as random as it will originally seem. All right, so there's no denial I can do. So what do I want to do? Do I want to set up the weakness first? Or do I want to kill the fast dots? So look, he's immune to nightmares, but not the poison. He's already no, he's immune to nightmares, but not bleed. He already has bleed. So I'm gonna do this. Two very powerful magic dots. He will guarantee die next. Just to these dogs. So if you wouldn't have had to read already, then I think I have to go with that straight. But right, guys. Annoyingly enough, the game had closed because it played an ad. But luckily for all of my fans, now you won't be witnessing as many cuts because not only is the recording software much easier to use on the tablet, but I've bought a lot of things on that account. You know. Okay, I'm gonna sell out. All right. So there will be no pop-up ads. Amazing. So to go over his trait real quick, because I forgot to, he's got Abomination, which immediately it'll stick out to you as Abomination haters rule the meta. He's going to get destroyed. He was a dark monster. He was never going to be in the meta anyways. I'm going to have to look at him from a beginner's perspective. He's a very good dot dealer, a very good cursor, surprisingly. Um, sure, there's a lot more he could do. Like a lot of people clarify good cursors as like, random negative effect people like tyrant skill but this guy is pretty good at what he does he gives weaknesses and then very very powerful dots and he gives a lot of those that being said he gets absolutely destroyed by anybody with torture immunity so abomination gives immunity to possession corruption nightmares and bleed funnily enough this guy i mean he's one of the boys he is not prepared to fight other abominations at all he does nightmares and bleed in one move to all enemies it's like if you're an abomination he, he can't really fight abominations which is bad because the beginner's meta is like all pretty bad abominations right now so the fact that you have an abomination that has no way to handle others is pretty bad but then again as i just showed abominations love dark and um special moves and this guy gives dark and special weaknesses so yeah second is a self immunity to blind uh always nice I mean, yeah, this guy, the way I see it, only people that are going to be using him are me as a speed rune monster because, you know, I just really like cursors and beginners. So blind is an always annoying thing there. In fact, I've seen that like the be the new battle pass relic is even some free weird blind thing called protostar. So it's nice to be immune to it. You still see it a lot in the beginners meta, but you just never see it in the high league. So you can forget that it exists. So it's a nice little immunity. And then you get a status caster freeze immunity, which I always hate it when there's good status casters that can't be reapplied. Luckily, freeze immunity is kind of laughable. I mean, I guess, and monsters like this, sometimes you can tell they're kind of just made for beginners. Um, this guy is. That freeze immunity is namely only for H2, Rage 2 up. You know, so you're immune to his freeze at the beginning of the battle. Uh, maybe that makes a difference. I don't know if you're really a beginner if you're getting a maze monster at rank three, but like, eh, you know. All right, so that was that. You know, he killed him so quickly with his dot. Oh my god. All right, so I'll just I'll leave them alive. So relax. You'll get your turn. Uh, I don't know why he was faster. Oh, anti gravity boots. Yeah. I was about to say, I don't know how he was that fast for a second. Alright, so I'll apply the special weakness, which would have seemed so out of place if not for the massive amount of abominations who love using special attack. Sadly, they cleansed away, which is, uh, that's a pretty good showcase, because that is the biggest fault of cursors. Per, you know? No, nerf. You can remove negative effects, and then all of a sudden your curses are nothing. Look at this, now I'm gonna give them that dark weakness. Uh, he's immune to uh, nightmares. Funnily enough, there are some monsters in the meta right now who are immune to nightmares. Um, the only one that comes to mind is Empress Luthien, and she's not the best, but she's not a joke either. But yeah, there's that. All right, so keep attacking that weakness that he exploits on the magic. I don't know. I think it's a fun little thing because it works out perfectly. Oh my God, bro. Another ad.
You can tell by how old I sound that I'm definitely looking for car insurance and these ads just are spot on. But yeah, this is just a fun thing to use because like, he's giving them the perfect weaknesses. But then again, it also shows that this is really the only team where you even get to to shine with his weaknesses. Now I will say there is the part where it's just like, uh, weakness and nightmares and then So I'm just gonna assume that weakness is 10% damage. No, that nightmares is 10% damage because it used to be only five and they say it's been buffed, but I can't imagine it's been that buffed. So he's got four dots. One is nightmares with a 2.5, so that is 25 per turn, right? Nightmares, and that's being gracious. It removes 10% of stamina, so I'm assuming it's also 10% of life. It's 20, around 25% removal with just this turn. And then you've got Curse and Bane. So you could be doing anywhere from 15 to 25% and the move and the like the infamous dot curse that scales up very strong over time. Sadly, he doesn't have a magic weakness when he has the two best magic dots. Uh, that really would have been great. I would have loved that a lot more than this. Even though I get why they did this, you know, I just showcased the monsters. Those are definitely the reason. And there's probably even more like awful dark or awful abominations with um, special weakness, which is why this guy has it. He is just an abomination friend, you know? But I like this guy, so Dot Dealy. He's got Nightmares Bleeding. So bleeding will like, it's physical damage. So it won't be like, you won't have that elemental clash against anyone with weak, with um, bleeding. So it's a pretty good Dot to kill any monster over time. Nightmares is pretty good. And then Curse and Bane are just amazing dots to have in synergy. You can give a weakness for that Nightmares. Honestly, I think this monster is really good and worth- well, okay, okay. I don't- I'm- <laughs> I don't want to go overboard. I think this monster makes for a great, fun person. I can't think that he's very viable as one, as, you know, he's got a lot of faults. Well, he doesn't have a lot of faults, but he doesn't have that it factor that you need to be in the meta. Look at that, weakness and engage. Weakness is very powerful. It's one of the reasons I love Nishant as an attacker, because he can do it in one move by himself. So applying this weakness, that perfectly applies. Because uh, the second you give them a weakness, you open up an advantage that you only have situational. It's a really powerful advantage. But what if you have, like, you're giving dark instead of there's no good darkened special attackers right now. Like, I know I think of the Lord, and that is all I can think of as one you'll run into. Um, there's Connect, bro. But like, dark monsters are so dead in the beta, and he's just another dark abomination. Who, it seems like they just gave him that trait to specifically see him die. So, yeah, I mean, you're not gonna see much use of, out of him, he's just, he doesn't have that it factor for people who intend to use him in high leagues, but I think he's got a lot of potential as just a team speed cursor. Who like, it always comes to mind to me as this. You'll be using Lord Heyman and a Megaton monster or someone to turn transfer into him. So you won't really need that third monster. Lord Heyman and Amania can do it on their own. So if that third slot, you have a throwaway team speed monster who can just give curses, make sure they die quicker, have a little bit of fun, I feel like that's what he is. Um, he's a team speed monster. I am a big fan of that concept of just having a monster to deal dots, have have them have team speed. So look at that. He's a magic monster, so it didn't do that much damage. I think he's also a magic monster, so it didn't do that much, but I want to see how much it does to this guy. How lucky do we get? Ooh. Like over, you know, not over half so it's a pretty good chunk. Of and you could just watch them die to dots alone. Funnily enough, he's a mythic, so he's fast enough to do this. But he's such a low level that even with every single shot, I want to see will they die? So for this 40 damage, that is actually just going to be 20% damage, and then 25 damage is actually just going to be 25 damage in half is. 12.5 so let's see 
almost kills a magic monster. And then this should kill, right? Yeah. Alright, so that is about it for the video. There's not much more at this showcase. This guy is a dot monster. He deals with weaknesses and dots that are specific to, like, abominations. Um, he'd suck against any abominations, but he's helpful with other abominations who use these dark and special weaknesses. He's got great magic dots, but he really can't do anything on his own. He's a definite team speed cursor. And yeah, that's about it for the video. Hope you found it helpful or informational. You know, everything you, every, I hope this video was what you hoped it'd be. Okay. Um, leave a like to show support for the video. I had to re-download the game and do a bunch of things to get this. So any support is appreciated. It means a lot. It makes my day, honestly. Um, leave a comment and it will respond. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Is this guy really bad? Are you going to give him team speeds and see if he's usable? I, I think he's a team speed monster. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. And subscribe to join the Crab Army. We are at 130 subscribers. And, you know, we're only going up. I got my pro account back. I'm going to be able to make much better content. It is going to be awesome. Stick around for the ride. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. Hope you have a great day. Your favorite Omnius Crab, signing out.